Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier you know Knows Best here, and this is my much requested comparison between the iPad 2 and the Motorola Zoom. So, it's going to jump right into it, take a look at some of the hardware features for both of these tablets. Now, let's look at the screen to start off with. Now, the iPad 2 has a 9.7 inch screen, which is LED backlit and has an IPS technology, should be good at viewing angles. And the Motorola Zoom has a 10.1 inch screen. Now, the Motorola Zoom does beat the iPad 2 as far as resolution, it has a 1280 by 800 screen, and the iPad 2 has a 1024 by 768 resolution screen. But if you can see by this comparison shots here, that doesn't mean the Motorola Zoom actually has the overall better screen. Um, the iPad 2 screen does get a little bit brighter and it's actually a little bit sharper and clearer than the Motorola Zoom, which seems a little bit washed out. And if you tell by holding it at certain angles here, especially if you start doing the angles test here, the Motorola Zoom just washes out a lot faster. While the iPad 2 is very good at a lot of different angles, that's going to be good if you have more than one person that is actually looking at the screen itself. So on paper, the Zoom should beat it as far as resolution, but in actuality, it doesn't beat it as far as that is regarded. And at this point, I'm putting up a chart real quick that I got from Engadget.com. It gives a little bit more comparison of the specs between these two tablets. And they both have one gigahertz dual core processors, but the Motorola Zoom does have more RAM. It has one gigabyte of RAM, and the iPad 2 is only limited to 512 megs of RAM. Um, and also, uh, memory configurations, the Motorola Zoom is only available in 32 gigabyte. With the iPad, you can get 16, 32, and 64 gigabytes, and that depends on your needs on how much you're going to actually need to use it. And both of these devices do have 3G versions of their tablets. Now, uh, one thing is that the iPad does have 3G for Verizon and AT&T, so you have more of a choice. Because some cases, AT&T may be better in certain areas, and that may be vice versa with Verizon. The Motorola Zoom, you only limited to Verizon, but you do have the choice between 4G. Now, a little disclaimer, 4G isn't actually in the Motorola Zoom at this time, so when you go buy it, you don't have 4G yet. That's going to come later in the process, which is going to have to send it out for a week, and then we have to install it and then send it back to you. So, you know, some people are not kind of not, not too thrilled about that process, but you will have the, that option in the future for those faster speeds with 4G for the Motorola Zoom. Speaking of battery life, the iPad 2 does trounce the uh, Motorola Zoom in battery life as well. The iPad 2 gets well over 10 hours of battery life, where the Motorola Zoom hovers around 7, between 7 and 8 hours of battery life. So if you're looking for something that you can use on a daily basis, take out with you all day long, the iPad 2 is going to offer a little bit better battery life. Okay, let's look at cameras because now both of these tablets with the updated iPad 2 and also this original Motorola Zoom both have cameras in the front and the back of the devices. Now the Motorola Zoom has a 2 megapixel front facing camera with a 5 megapixel camera in the back that shoots um, 720p HD video and also has LED flash, an added point that the iPad 2 doesn't have any flash at all. And the iPad 2 uh, cameras, the front one is the VGA and the rear camera is also similar, 720p uh, HD video shoots about 30 frames per second. Let's go ahead and see how these things actually perform in real life tests. Okay, now let's look at the overall design of these two devices. The iPad 2 is a sexier machine. It's, it's a better looking model, just to get that out there. It is smaller, it is thinner, it is lighter, so that's good for long time holding sessions. You're going to be holding a long time, but it just looks better. Uh, the Motorola Zoom isn't, it doesn't look bad at all. It still looks really good, but just standing next to an iPad 2 is going to kind of be outshined as far as looks. Now, also too, when it, that talks about to the um, how it feels to actually hold in your hand due to the design. Now, since the iPad 2 has a 9.7 inch screen, whether you hold it in landscape or portrait mode, you're going to feel comfortable holding that tablet with the Motorola zoom it feels great in landscape mode but once you switch it over to um, portrait mode it just kind of feels uneven and unbalanced it's kind of, it kind of feels weird because it is a lot longer of a screen and uh, even I have long fingers but trying to reach things at the top of the screen is going to be kind of hard you're gonna to have to take one hand off 
um, for a lot of the time just to navigate around the screen in portrait mode. And let's look at applications for these two devices. The Moto Resume has the Android Marketplace where the iPad 2 has the App Store. Now, not only does the iPad 2 has thousands of more applications than the Motorola Zoom, they, it also has the best application. It has a lot of good applications that have been refined and have really take advantage of the uh, iPad 2 screen size and also starting to take advantage of the hardware. Where the Motorola Zoom and the Android Marketplace, I, I counted the last time I checked a little over 20 applications that are tablet ready or tablet specific application so that's a very big gap and that may be the deciding factor to a lot of people out there that's deciding which tablet to actually get okay let's talk about OS's here and this always turns into a heated debate especially down in the comments here I can't wait to read them um, but bottom line is that both of these OS's are really good now it depends on your preference whether you like Android and the new Honeycomb 3.0 or whether you like the iOS environment there now I'm gonna put up a list here just about some of the things that each of these OS's do really good um, but you know again just getting to the, the gist of it here um, the, the weaknesses of Android are the strengths of iOS and the weaknesses of iOS are the strengths of Android. So you kind of already know what those are already. So I don't need to go back into those. So again, it's going to be just your personal preference. I recommend you try to get your hands on one or the other and try to see which one is actually a better feel for you. And that will be a, a good deciding factor for you as far as the OSs are concerned. Now, with that being said, I did try to do a little stark comparison between just the speed of the OSs. And I did find that the iPad 2 is a little bit quicker device, and the OS just kind of screams on, especially on this new hardware, taking advantage of the processor and the added RAM. With the Motorola Resume, I don't really feel that difference. It doesn't feel as fast, even as a Nexus S as far as a cell phone, when you're navigating around the OS. I did a real quick test of just changing the orientation on both of these tablets here. You can see that the Motorola Zoom, when I change it from landscape to portrait and vice versa, it just seems very slow. Uh, it takes about two seconds between me actually turning the device for the actual OS to switch the uh, the screen over to match the orientation where the iPad 2 is just doing it like butter I mean that's something that you know you should, should be able to see um, it shouldn't be that big of a difference when doing something as basic as that Let's talk about browsing and surfing the web the zoom definitely beats the iPad 2 in this category it's, it feels more of a complete experience and more of a desktop experience you have tab browsing it does load the, the pages faster and it will be getting flash it doesn't have flash yet uh, but Flash will be coming in a later update. We don't know when that's going to happen, though. But even, even if it didn't have Flash, the, the iPad 2 is just browsing just doesn't feel as complete as it. It's not a slouch at all, uh, but it doesn't have full features. And just the overall desktop experience on this Motorola Zoom as far as browsing just takes the cake. So let's go ahead and talk about pricing. Now, the Motorola Zoom just got two different versions of a tablet. It's actually the same day I recorded this video here. So now they have a $599 Wi-Fi only version of it. Then they have that $800 one, uh, which is Wi-Fi and 3G, of course. It's going to be upgradable to 4G. Now, the iPad 2 has many, many choices. It still has the cheapest option where you can get a 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi only for $500. Bucks. And then from there, I think you have upwards of about 18 different configurations you can choose from. So the consumer does have more of a choice with the iPad 2. Uh, but the Motorola Zoom, especially just with only having two models, even though the $600 version does help, it's still going to have a, a hard time really getting a lot of consumers to jump into it without having that or meeting that iPad 2 $500 price point. Now, which one of these tablets remains as the king of the tablet marketplace right now, but also sets the tone as being the one to beat for future tablets coming from HP and BlackBerry here very soon, but that still has to be the iPad 2. You look at the combination of hardware, the sleekness, the design, and also the OS and the maturity of the application store, it just feels like a more complete device than the Motorola Zoom, which is, again, the best Android tablet out, but it just feels kind of incomplete, not only with the hardware specs that were promised, that not in the device or in the device but don't work, but also just the price point of the Motorola Zoom is going to be kind of hard for a lot of consumers to accept a, a $600 or even an $800 price point just to get the tablet in their homes. And also you have more of an option with the iPad 2, again, with I think about 18 different versions, also the choice between carriers, and also just the experience. When you're using these things at home, the iPad is a simple experience for not only the young and the old to take advantage of. And the Zoom is kind of, you can see the kind of target at a certain audience there, most of the geeky people out there. And it may be kind of something that you just got to take into consideration about which one that you actually probably going to want to get. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of fanboy comments like I always get in these comparisons, especially when I choose an Apple product or any other product. But I encourage and I challenge everybody out there to go do some research and go look at other reviews from other people on the Zoom and other comparisons between the Zoom and the iPad too. And you see that a lot of people are very consistent with their opinions about the tablet so let's have an educated debate down below in the comments and we'll see if that can stand i know it's not going to stand but anyway this is just my opinion leave a comment comment down below i'm interested to see what you think and thanks for watching guys and i will catch you later peace